my loves welcome to another youtube video so today we are going to be talking about becoming your ultimate dream girl first things first look i caved i caved okay it's not even actually for my phone i have the 15 plus and this is actually for the 15 pro max but the camera you can still use it so i really don't mind my phone is pink underneath as well oh the lip gloss is backwards that's not not a good look but yeah how adorable i posted an instagram reel yesterday and some people were like oh my gosh it's so ugly i'm like i don't care it's so cute it's so cute the only thing is because my phone is so thick my phone then doesn't fit in my tripod so i have to take it out to put it in my tripod it doesn't stand up against things to film as well which is a bit of a you know a bit of an issue but day to day I'm absolutely okay with this because it's adorable and my lips are never ever going to be chapped again are they girlies and you know that is the highest version of myself is having glossed up lippies so today we are going to be talking about becoming your dream girl now I actually did a full with intention podcast episode about this it seems to be a bit of a theme I've got going on right now. Let me show you my um, vision board because I made one. Obviously, I actually made one not that long ago with you guys. But I made another one because your girl really needed some extra manifestation. I was feeling like I needed some extra vision. I don't know. It just kind of gave the vibes. Now, let me show you because how cute is this? The quote in the middle is, you owe it to yourself to become everything you have ever dreamed of becoming. And I think it's so true. I am all about living to your fullest potential, being your highest self, behaving like your dream girl. So today I want to talk about how you're going to elevate your life, how you are going to manifest your dream life and how you're going to manifest becoming your highest self. So, first thing I want us to do is use affirmations. I am such a big believer of about, you know, what you put into the universe and how it affects your life. So, I've seen things about where you, if you're listening to sad music, it's going to manifest sad things. Whereas if you are listening to uplifting, happy music, that is going to make you feel happier. And for me, I actually do really enjoy sad music. I do enjoy it. I love singing along. However, it does not make me feel like I'm at my highest level of vibration. It definitely brings me down slightly. So when I do listen to happy music, I try and listen to happy music when I'm going somewhere, when I'm on the way to the gym, when I need to get pumped up for a workout, or I just need that little confidence boost. That is what I listen to. So I highly recommend changing up the vibes of your music if you haven't already, or even having a playlist where it's sad, happy, sad, happy. So it's not one constant emotion, if that makes any sense. Anyway, so affirmations. Affirmations is what is going to help you you know believe you are your highest self it's going to help you get yourself into that mindset so a few of the affirmations i love are right i want you to repeat after me i believe in myself and my abilities i face challenges with courage and determination i embrace my uniqueness and i let it shine I am in control of my life and my future. I am proud of who I am becoming. I trust my intuition and make decisions with confidence. I am strong, capable and resilient. I deserve success and I will achieve my goals. I am becoming my dream girl. Now, you can replay this as many times as you want. Repeat after me as many times as you want. And you will, you know, get into the mindset of manifesting, becoming your higher self. You'll exude confidence and you'll just feel very positive and happy. And that is just the way to be. 
Now, what I want you to do is behave like you are the main character, okay? When you are making your coffee, pretend that you are a model, okay? It's fashion week. You're getting ready to go to a shoot with Vogue, okay? That's what you're doing. So, yes, you are going to be romanticizing everything. I always romanticize my morning routine. My morning routine is my favorite moment of the day to feel like the main character. I wake up, I make my bed, as you can see. I then take my vitamins, I do my skincare, I have a shower, or I have a shower after my workout. But if I'm not working out in the morning, I will have a shower. I'll get into my workout clothes, I'll go work out, I'll listen to some good music, my, maybe I'll listen to a podcast. If you haven't listened to my podcast, you definitely should. But yeah, I will be romanticizing every single aspect of my life because why are we here if not to enjoy our lives and romanticize our lives and feel like the happiest, healthiest, best version of ourselves. So make sure you are behaving like you are the main character because you are, you are the main character in your life. And if you're not, then you need to reevaluate because you definitely should be. Next thing is romanticize your life. You're going to romanticize your morning coffee. You're gonna romanticize walking in the rain. Be excited. Yesterday I was in London for an event and I also went and met up with one of my friends. And when I left the event, it was pouring down. I had my hair done as well. It's hair wash day today, hence the, the slick back. But I had my hair done, I leave this building and it was chucking it down with rain. It was pouring, I was soaked. I was wearing this like light greyish blazer. It was dark grey by the time I got on the train. I was absolutely soaking. But you know what, as I was walking I wasn't thinking, oh my gosh, this is so disgusting, I'm so soaking. I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is so fun. I'm in London. I'm giggling away to myself because it's fun, okay? It's the rain, yes. Maybe if I had to go somewhere else, like I was only going straight home. But it's all about romanticizing, okay? And just enjoying yourself. Take photos, make things look beautiful. Take pleasure in getting dressed up. Like I work from home and I always make a conscious effort to do my makeup. Even when I'm not filming, I do my makeup. I get in like, a nice-ish outfit. This is literally a cardigan and a t-shirt, so it's not super nice, but you know, it's better than wearing my pajamas or staying in my dressing gown. And that is me romanticizing my life. I'll put on perfume just to stay at home. It's, you know, it's part of romanticizing. And I highly recommend because it just adds more fun. Maybe when you're reading your book, you go sit outside. If it's sunny, if you're in the UK, it's probably not. I'm literally looking out my window and it's chucking it down with rain yet again in July. But it's fine, we're gonna romanticize it, okay? Like, I need to take my dogs out for a walk. I'm gonna put the raincoats on the cute little dogs. I'm gonna put my raincoat on, I'm gonna have a fun playlist, maybe a podcast, and I'm just gonna romanticize it. I'm just gonna, you know, take things in a positive light. And I do think that is what manifest, not manifesting, what romanticizing is all about is just, taking things in your stride, being positive and just enjoying life and, you know, taking it as it comes and just enjoying yourself, okay? Because life is beautiful when you have the positive mindset. Now, next thing I want you to do to become your dream girl is get out of your comfort zone, okay? Get out of your comfort zone. Comfort zones are cozy, okay? But the good thing about a comfort zone is they are adaptable. Things that maybe once felt uncomfortable or new to you are probably your new regular. For me, my gym that I go to, I joined them in March last year. And when I first started going, I was really nervous because I didn't know my way around. I'd never been to this gym before. And now it's second nature. I feel really comfortable at this gym. I just do my thing. But that is because I went out of my comfort zone. And you have to go out of your comfort zone to grow. To grow as a person, you need to move, okay? You need to make moves. You need to get out of your com comfort zone. And you always need to be focusing on growth. Now, when I say growth, I don't mean go crazy. Don't go crazy, okay? I mean 1% better every single day because that is sustainable. That is what is going to get you to a point of success. This is what is going to make you happy. It's by improving your life 
1% every day. If you were going to take anything from this podcast, it's just try to be 1% better. Not this podcast, this video. Try and be 1% better today than you were yesterday. Okay, that's all I want you to do. Now, getting out of your comfort zone, something a little, a bit of homework. I want to give you is I want you to list 10 things that you are going to do in the next six months. Girlies, it's the start of July. What is the date today? It's the 10th of July. We've just started onto the second half of the year. Now, if you didn't stick to your New Year's resolutions in January, if you feel like you've fallen off of your healthy habits and you want to get back on them, but you're like, well, it's too late now because it's not January. Okay, who cares, girl? It's July. We can start our habits in July. You don't have to wait until January. You don't have to wait until a Monday or a new month or whatever it is. You don't have to wait. You can start your health journey on a Thursday. You can start a new workout plan on a Thursday. You can decide to change your life on a Tuesday, on a Wednesday, on a Saturday. It really does not matter as long as you make that decision and you stick to it, okay? You need to make sure that you are sticking to the promises that you made to yourself. Like, you know, the night before you say, right, I'm gonna wake up at six, I'm gonna go to the gym before work, lovely. When that alarm goes off at six, get up. You promised yourself you were gonna do that, so let's do it, okay? Keep the promises to yourself. So, like I said, list 10 things that you want to do in the next six months to get out of your comfort zone. These don't have to be crazy things like going skydiving or bungee dumping, dumping, jumping, (laughs) anything like that. It does not have to be crazy. It can literally be complimenting a stranger or holding the door for someone or going out of your way to make a new friend. It doesn't have to be crazy. It doesn't have to be life changing, but just trying to get out of your comfort zone is such a good way to give confidence as well. And if you lack confidence, honestly, fake it until you make it. That is the only tip I will ever have for someone that is unconfident. You've just got to fake it until you make it because there has been so many times where I've been to like, Like I went back to my university and I did a speech in front of 150 people. That was so scary to me. Some of them were older than me. I was like, why am I here? I am, I am not qualified to be talking to you. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, okay? But I walked in there, fake it until you make it. I stood up right at the front. I did my talk. I had my notes. I just channeled how my highest self and how my most confident self and how my dream girl would behave and I showed up as her. So that is my advice to you. Now, next thing I want you to do is focus on hydration and your diet. Now, when I say this, I don't mean diet as in like the silly things like fasting and keto like no that's not the vibe we're going for okay we are going for sustainable healthy living i've got hair on my nose we are we are going for sustainable healthy living we are trying to change our lifestyle because being healthy that is a lifestyle it's not just a quick crash diet okay that is not that's not the vibe around here and if you want that to be your vibe i this isn't the place for you babe i'm sorry but it's not So what I want you to do is eat whole foods that will fuel your body. I want your plate to have a balance of healthy fats, fibers, carbs, protein, and I want you to enjoy it. Add some seasoning, add a bit of cheese on that, okay? Do what you need to do. Eat your veggies, eat whole foods. And I promise you now, at the start, you will probably be craving sugar and you'll probably be craving all of these things. However, Once you start to eat healthy and understand how amazing your body feels from eating foods that will fuel you and make you feel good in yourself, it is a game changer, okay? I have had a really, really good um, run with healthy foods, eating whole foods and also having balance. And on Friday, it was my mum's birthday and I had chocolate cake for breakfast and it threw me off the whole day. I was so tired, I was feeling groggy and it was just not the vibe. I was not feeling productive. I was really low energy and I know that was because I did not start my day off the way I normally would with my Greek yogurt and granola and fruit and almond butter and hydration. I 
complete throw out the window and honestly we are allowed to have these days these days are good for us but I felt such a difference in the day and my positivity and my productivity levels and it was just crazy the impact it had so I highly recommend trying to have a bit more balance eating more whole foods and incorporating foods into your diet that are going to make you feel good and they're going to literally make you glow from the inside out now another thing i want you to do is make sure you are drinking your water drink your water girl get a nice water bottle do what you need to do add cucumber add lemon add squash whatever it is that you need to do to drink your water just make sure you are drinking water because that is going to serve you so much it's going to help with bloating it's going to help with your um what's the word it's going to help with your body odor it's gonna help with bad breath it's gonna help with everything okay it's gonna help your hair health skin health everything so i recommend drinking water another thing you could add to your drinks roster i am a girl that loves to have multiple beverages at time i'm a girly that normally has i normally have my lemon water and then i have a juice and a coffee that is my lineup I love it and I will not be changing that anytime soon because it's just so nice. I love it. Let me actually show you what I had for breakfast this morning because it was just the definition of a girl lineup. Obviously, I had my water as well, but I literally had coffee, my yogurt and granola and then my juice and it was good. Okay, so I recommend it. But another thing you could add to your drink roster is green tea or peppermint tea. Peppermint tea is really good for your skin if you are looking for a bit of an extra glow, if you feel like your skin is a bit puffy or you're experiencing some breakouts, peppermint tea is amazing. And then green tea is an inflammatory. I don't recommend having it before bed because I think it's a slow release caffeine. Um, although I've had it before bed like a few times, it's not really bothered me. So. I think it's completely up to you where you want to go with that. Anyway, next thing I want you to focus on is body care. Now, I can do a whole video on this. I could do a whole video on my everything shower routine, my skincare, everything like that if you want. So let me know. But body care and skincare, I'm going to kind of tie these together. But I want you to find a skincare routine that works for you. The biggest game changer I experienced for my skin was when I stepped away from all of these viral, pretty, super duper, not good skincare products but they were trending on tiktok and all of this when i stepped away from those and started finding products that actually work for my skin a website i've been using is called cos dna and it's basically a website where it tells you how acne prone the products are that you're using so you can literally type in the skincare name that you are using like the product and it will tell you from a rating of one to ten ten being the worst it can be one being the best it could be for your acne and it will tell you a score of how good the product is for your skin and since doing that my skin has cleared up so much i have been on such a journey with my acne and it's so much better than it used to be touch word obviously um so with body care i have been doing something and i actually said about it on my tip on my tiktok on my podcast i think it was and basically i have been mixing a tanning like a gradual tanning moisturizer with my normal moisturizer and i know that the tanning moisture is a moisturizer in itself however when i put it on sometimes i find that it goes on a bit streaky but mixing it with my normal moisturizer has helped so much it has made it go on so nice i wake up i've got a nice little glow i don't really think like like that's a nice little tan without it being too much or streaky and also you don't have to stress about looking like tiger bread because when I like do my proper fake tan I'm looking like tiger bread it's not a cute look and then the thing is as well if you do this every night when you go out with friends say it's like a last minute dinner plans or something you know you've got a cute tan going on so I recommend adding this to your routine now next thing I want to talk about quickly is productivity okay for me, this could just be me, it could be a personal preference, but my highest version of myself and my dream girl is productive. She time blocks her days, she uses with intention planners, 
the with intention to do list she uses everything because she is planned okay she knows what she's doing for the next 100 days okay i love my calendar i love planning my days because when i don't plan my days that is when i'm not productive or i get overwhelmed with my to-do list whereas when i plan it all out and i put them into different work blocks and i add them to my timetable oh it just makes the biggest difference ever so i recommend planning your days but i definitely think it is personal preference because i know maybe if you have a nine to five like a traditional like corporate i don't know how it works over there whether you have control of your schedule or not but um if you're self-employed or you work from home or you're freelance or um you're a student it's so handy to time block so i highly recommend now i kind of think i've covered everything that i wanted to cover today i feel like we've talked a lot about a lot of different things but i really hope that this is going to help you feel like you are on the journey to becoming your highest self so yeah I love you and I will see you super duper soon. I'm going to try and make this a series of talking to you guys more about glowing up, about just girly stuff, I guess. So yeah, thank you so much for listening. I love you all. Please like and subscribe and I will see you again soon. Bye.